Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakha Kodesh. And double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the brothers in Iowa and the Bible's teachings were in our sincerity. Now, um, this is just a quick response video to the elder apostle Tahar's video and his channel, James Ducky Tube. You know, go and subscribe and click the bell, you know. Uh, all of the edification is there and uh, this is a response video to this video here Vogue have got smoke so without any further ado I'm just gonna play it <laughs> and then um let's bring me out to bring out two scriptures man and, and just close out you know seeing guys <laughs> I'm possibly seeing a lot here man so let me just play it fine but that's not my understanding at all Okay, Revelation 13 and 1 says, And I stood upon the center of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. What's this beast? Which, which is what's beast? You talking about... What is it? 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 What is the one seen by no, what is this beast? No, what is this beast? He doesn't know. You see the eyes rolling back and forth? This this went over his head, man. You should man, you should be watching my videos. Or or or, or Sakari videos, because we go in we goes into this. Piece that I just read in Revelation 13 to 1 with seven heads and ten horns. Uh, this is basically uh, satanic power running wild in the end days. <laughs> Boy, he don't know. He don't know, man. Hey, the Apostle said he pulled that out right out of his ass, man. <laughs> right out of his ass, yeah. Yo, if you don't know, just yo, just, <laughs> yeah, just just say no, no, man. That's the reason why he's supposed to humble down. But Jeremiah 23 verse 28 it says the prophet that had a dream, let him tell a dream, cause that's a hey, that's a fairy tale, that's a dream, man. See, it's a big, basically, it's a satanic power in the end. Is. Well, actually, it's a, it's, a, um, it's a unrighteous government. You understand? Because the beast in the scriptures represent a kingdom, a government. You understand? And we break it down as being NATO and the EU. You know? Well, that, that's what it really is NATO and the EU. And the whole that's set up on the beast is America, man. You understand? Being um, in rulership over the, over the beast. You know, so it says the prophet that had a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that had my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat? Say the Lord, Yahweh Basha Mashai. So we speak in the word, man. <laughs> and then you're coming up against them and the Lord vocab yeah, man. Look, you're 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 shame, man. You you have been put to shame right before the house of Israel, man. Or before the known house of Israel and, and, and the internet. You know? And there's a spiritual force, then there's a physical counterpart of that spiritual force, which is the so-called white man, which which are the Edomites, which are the Edomites, and that and 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 and, and um, uh, uh, Revelation 13 and one, first couple of verses, is talking about is talking about the Roman Empire. We're going back 2,000, more than 2,000 years ago. The the deadly wound, one of the heads being wounded is the, the downfall of the Roman Empire. And the Roman Empire is back again, but it's called America, NATO, and the EU. If you watch my videos, I, when they when they established the, um, the EU, which is part of the beast, there was a meeting called the, uh, the Treaty of Rome. And there was a big room, there's a big picture of it. If you put in Treaty of Rome, there's a big a picture of a big room with a bunch of Edomites in it. Back in, um, what was that, 50, 58? Back in 57, 58, 58. If I'm not around that time, 57, 58. Hey, but, but Vokiab would know that because Vokiab's sole purpose is to discredit the Hebrew Israelites, especially Great Millstone. His thing is to <clears throat> to come up against us to say we are we aren't right and and um, <clears throat> to prove us wrong. But at the same time, he did no research on, on, on these things, man. He has, he have not the spirit, you know. All he's about is, is strife and and um, vain words. 
See, so you get caught out there, man. You got caught, and uh, this is what the scripture say, man. In um, Sirach, or the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 29, it says, Be not an hypocrite in the sight of men, and take good heed, heed what thou speakest. Uh, it, uh, isn't it written that the trial of man is in his talk? Yeah? You're, you're a hypocrite vocab. You don't know. If you don't know, just say you don't know, man. But guess what? You don't want to look bad in front of the men of the Lord. You, are, you already look bad. <laughs> hey, just pray that you're not an either man, man. Verse 30 says, Exalt not thyself, lest thou fall and bring this honor upon thy soul. And so, Yahweh Baasham shall discover thy secrets like what you have done here, showing that you don't know what's the beast in Revelation 13. It has been discovered. Discover thy secrets and cast thee down in the midst of of the congregation because thou camest not in truth to the fear of the Lord but thy heart is full of deceit man and that's that's what befall you here vocab that's what befall you here man and there's no getting around it man there's no getting around it but nevertheless prophecy has to be fulfilled and I hope that this has been an edifying one shalom